G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, just a little bit of tire talk. Um, I posted a video uh, maybe last year on the Maxxis Aggressor and I sort of, I tried them out for almost probably the first time since they were released um, and I had a few struggles with the tires. Um, I was running, running them with a, a DHF on the front um, but I had the 2.3 and I rode it in a few sort of rocky, dry, summery sort of downhill trails, and I struggled with the traction on the back. So I know that they are a loose, playful tire, but I felt that they were letting go on times when I didn't want them to let go. So this was the tire that I had, and it's an, a Maxxis 2.3. So now I've gone back to a aggressor now that the weather's getting warmer. This one is the 2.5. So, Basically, I guess most people would know how these tyres go because these aren't a new tyre at all. But the, I wanted to just sort of point out the differences in why I struggled with the 2.3 and not with the 2.5. So <clears throat> a bit of a backstory. Now that we're coming out of winter, I have been running the, the DHR2, but I had a max grip on the rear because I had a, a max terror and all of the side lugs started to blow apart because they were getting getting too old so i was getting this sort of stuff happening um and the only other tire i had because it had been raining well, we had a really wet winter here in, in in australia um i had one of these things for the extra grip just for all the slippery roots and slippery rocks and things and that's great but then i found that when i've been riding more so now that we're in springtime when i've been riding in more so dry can dry conditions or sort of like wet sort of moisty sort of hero duty kind of positions it felt like the dhr was like i had a brake on it's just so grippy and such a draggy tire being the double down max grip on the rear combined with the, the asagai on the front um so today is my first ride at eagle mountain bike park with the aggressor back on now that we're into spring and like the difference i mean i know that it is apples and oranges but the difference between the Max Grip DHR2 and the Aggressor, um, I think it's a 2C compound, so it's obviously a lot faster rolling. But man, like, like sometimes with some sort of tyres, um, like Max Terra, Max Grip, or whatever, there's there's a slight minimal difference that you can sort of feel, but without proper telemetry or like your Strava or you know like timing and stuff you may not notice the difference, but the difference between the DHR2 Max Grip and the Aggressor in a 2C compound is unbelievable. Like this tire rolls so much faster. Um, it climbs unbelievably good, maybe even climbs better than the DHR2. I would say the only downside that this has over the DHR2 is when you're under braking, going down sort of steep stuff, and the bike is sort of unweighted a little bit more than it would, this tire will skid more, whereas that thing still, with these little braking nods, it still hangs on and slows the bike up. So it's a little bit better for brake modulation, whereas this is maybe not as good, and you can skid the back wheel a bit more, but it's barely noticeable, like maybe once or twice a ride. Anyway, Point of the video is just the comparison between the the the, the two point three and the two point five. So straight away the two point five there is obviously more width in the tire, but therefore if you're running the sort of thirty five mil rims, because the because the tire is is rounder, there's more sort of bag or balloon to the tire so therefore it'll put the side knobs on a slightly more diagonal angle than these so because this tire is a 2.3 you'll see that the side the angle of the side knobs is sort of more straight up whereas these are more on a slight angle so therefore when you're putting the bike on a lean these things are going to grab just a little bit better than what these will. These are a touch more upright. If you can sort of see the angle, I feel that these are more of a more of a side angle. These are a touch more upright. The other thing that you'll notice is 
sorry the camera the difference in the the knobs in the middle of the treads I'll try and line them up properly so if you look at the look at these two together there is a hang on sorry I'm not a professional at this there is a bit of a difference in the size of the knobs. So the cornering knobs are slightly chunkier. The cornering knobs is, oh, it doesn't really look on camera, eh? But the, the cornering knobs are slightly beefier in the in the 2.5. And also the the climbing, the climbing and braking knobs on the 2.5 are also slightly bigger as well. So therefore, this offers a little bit more traction than what this would. Um, this will probably be even a slightly faster, more rolling tire than what this would. So, which also begs me the question that if, because like when I ride this with the DHR on the back, um, when I ride this with the DHR max grip on the back the last couple of months, when I've been climbing on up fire roads, I've been using the climb switch. I've been locking out the rear shock. Whereas today, when I was climbing with this, not once did I lock out the rear shock. Not only that, today I did a 16 kilometer ride. Yesterday, I also I only did a 13 kilometer ride, but today I was fresher because of the lack of rolling resistance that these tires have got. Um, I had fresher legs, like I had a little bit more energy, which probably asks the question that if if you like now i don't ride an e-bike but if you had an e-bike and you had a set of these on the rear would you get better battery life if you're running one of these tires because a lot of the e-bikes that i've seen around that my mates ride they've all got pretty hectic um heavy duty carcass tires on them and they run them for maximum grip because obviously there's a lot more force there's a lot more weight a lot more energy going to the ground with the bigger bikes but I have seen um, a fellow running a turbo levo with an aggressor double down on the rear and so i'm wondering if you're the kind of rider that loves doing sort of aggressive trail riding and you like getting like doing those big 40 50k loops would one of these tires on the back give you a slight better range with your battery because your 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 motor is not working as hard as what it would be with like say a michelin dh on there or like those the other Schwalbe tyres that are fairly heavy duty tyres that go on there as well. So two for four, um, drop a comment if you do know the answer to that because I'm looking at an e-bike as my next bike. So anyway, um, also on another side note, I find, I feel like the, the side knobs and the tread pattern on these really, really, really well match, even though this is quite worn out, the Asagai tyre. So... So with Minions, Minion DHR, DHF, I feel like the profile and the, the tread design, like they suit each other perfectly. And what the DHF um, brings to the party as far as like leaning over and grip and cornering and vagueness and whatnot, the DHR on the back makes up for sort of thing. So they kind of work hand in hand like the perfect pair. Um, although, you know, the DHF is a phenomenal front tire. The Asagai is a slightly slower rolling front tire, but with the aggressor on the rear, that's such a fast rolling tire compared to the DHR. It's kind of like they balance each other out and the aggressor and the Asagai together are a sick, fast rolling combo. Um, yeah, having said that, you know, like the some people say the dissector is, is faster and better again than the aggressor, but most of the people I've spoken to that have got had dissectors have worn them out super quick and this is the second season that this tire is going to be on the back of my bike because i actually bought that last year so um there you go that's probably enough rambling for me um just my opinion um i could be right could be wrong i'm definitely not an expert in tires or um you know like grips and compounds and all that sort of stuff so but um yeah like if you've had a similar experience or whatever um yeah drop a comment below and also if you do ride an e-bike and you've tried one of these on the rear yeah just drop a comment and let us know how you go because i reckon that you know like this would be you know like i know that higher tire pressures can make can play a difference in your battery life and also faster rolling tires that are still tough and still fast 
yeah so anyway applications wise i would say if you're into duro, enduro type riding and do the occasional downhill the 2.5 aggressor is the way to go um, if you're into sort of enduro riding technical riding and love trail riding then the 2.3 is the way to go so one's not better than the other depending on the application because in trail riding that may be overkill whereas in sort of like enduro sort of downhill style riding that's probably not enough so yeah um yeah cool um thanks for watching if you get anything in this video that's great um drop a comment or a like or a subscribe and uh yeah until then uh, keep shredding